Yo, home hearties, and welcome to episode, I think, 114, and, uh, 14, and I'm getting the nice classic Minecraft music here, which is, it's, it's very nice, and the nice sunset as well, just like, sunsetting, we're at our wonderful Greek base, where houses are less than half done, it, it's just nice, it's just peaceful. Although, I don't want mobs spawning, so I am going to sleep. Now I've got to wonder about the debate of, do I leave it as, like, the Minecraft music in, music in the background, or, or do I actually put, like, intro music over this? I think I'm gonna still need to put intro music. So, you're probably not gonna be able to hear the Minecraft music. But, this is nice. I'm back home. We have a load of stuff to do, which is annoying. I've got to go and visit the wonderful villagers who love their home here. You just, hello. You just love your home here, don't you? Everyone loves living here. No one has complaints. They better not. But yeah, in other news, the replay mod is still not out yet, unfortunately. Well, it might be out, but I haven't got it yet. I haven't got the replay mod. So, I, I was thinking for today, I'm, I'm just gonna take you through the episode, just ni nice and calm. We're gonna have a nice, relaxing episode, and we're gonna build. That's basically what we're going to be doing. We're going to be building, but it's not gonna be in a time lapse because I can't do time lapses, and I'm gonna basically show you the process of, like, how the videos go, basically, and it's not going to be very different, it's basically just going to be no time lapse, I'm just going to be talking and stuff, and like, basically cutting in every few, like, minutes to say, oh look, here's what I'm doing now. But first, Dave's Newspaper Incorporated, wonderful Dave, we didn't get Dave last episode really, we, we got like, Dave's signs, which I don't know, I didn't really like as much. Nothing really beats Dave. Last episode, Captain Pineapple finishes exploring Wonder 18 and returns home to the wonderful Greek base. Aww, thank you, Dave. Oh, pff, thank you, Dave. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to basically be doing a normal episode, but there's no time lapse, so I'm just gonna be like cutting in every, um, like every so often. And basically just saying, here's what I'm doing now, it looks bad. Because I, I can't do time lapses. Time lapses are not possible right now. Also, me and my friend, uh, we, we went through and, like, organised all of these chests. We moved them over into a different building, and I just ruined it. Like, all of these chests are empty, except anything that's actually here has been put here by me not too long ago. I've just been adding all of my junk back into the chest. I'm so bad at this. And the first priority, now that I am actually back here, is getting food. So, my wonderful farmer villagers, they trade some pumpkin pie, so I will take that pumpkin pie. And, as far as I know, there's nothing else that I really need to get. The only other thing that I could buy right now is quartz. The whole reason I got villagers in the first place was because I knew that they could trade quartz, but the problem is the quartz is expensive from the villagers. It's around one emerald for one block of quartz, and I can't do that. It, it's simply too expensive for me to rely on quartz from just villagers alone. So, if I'm correct, Nightmare Ink Crystal should have been to the nether and gotten quartz, except I don't actually know if they returned. Yeah, Nightmare Ink Crystal went into the nether, and I don't know if they've actually come back, so they, they could be in the nether still. I don't know. And if they are in the nether, then that basically means that I, I don't have any quartz. So the last place I can think to check is down here, and I don't understand this storage at all. Um, I don't think it's here. Like, what what is in all of these? I, I, how, how can you understand this? Like, this, this makes no sense. Why have we just got a full double chest for calcite? Okay, so basically the easiest way to explain it is I have no idea where that quartz is. So we're gonna go mining! Yeah! 
Ne nether quartz mining. Don't don't you don't you love nether nether quartz mining? Like, isn't it isn't it really fun going into literal hell just to get quartz? I I hate nether quartz mining. Why are they? Uh, they all just moved at me at the same time. I don't like it. I don't like being here. Oh, flipping. Okay, I didn't realise there was lava down there either. I shouldn't be sprint jumping. I hate this. I hate this. Although with the new render distance, this looks amazing. Why have I got no nether fog? I've just realised that. Did I turn my nether fog off? I don't know where to turn it back on in the settings, so I I'm just going to leave it. But as you can see, the higher render distance on the chunks here is really good. So I can see across a large amount of the nether, and I don't know why, but I really like that area over there. There's absolutely nothing over there, and I'm not going to go over there because there's nothing worth getting. But doesn't it look cool? I can also actually see this warped forest now a bit better, so like... It is just all floating. That's what I find odd about it. It's just all floating above the nether there. I don't know why I'm mining it, because I can't turn it into ingots without crafting table. And I can't trade it either. Um, so I'm not... Wait, can you, can you trade gold nuggets? I don't know about that, actually. I really shouldn't be recording and shouting today, like, I, I have a really bad headache, jeez. Oh, I forgot this existed. Oh, God. I'm, I, I'm obligated to do it now, aren't I? If you didn't know, um, and I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, that there's a bastion here, and I don't know, this... Now, now that it's been seen and like it's so close by, I'm kind of obligated to go and look at it. But I don't. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is quite possibly the dumbest decision that I have made, but it won't be the first time that I've made a dumb decision. There's not even an easy way over to it. I really should get fire resistance potions before coming here, but like, I don't have a brewing stand, don't you dare do that. I've just realised what I need. Hoppers. I am not going into a bastion without hoppers, because if you didn't know, piglins get- a, there's a hoglin there as well? Piglins get extremely angry at you for opening chests, or mining gold, or anything like that. So. I'm gonna go and bring a hopper because they don't get annoyed at that. I've gone the wrong way. Don't you just love making dumb decisions? This is, th this is going to be how I lose all of my items. Whoa. Oh, this is how I die. This is how I die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm going to die here. Right, so if I do this, then I get all of the items that are in the chest without having to open or break it. Oh, soul speed three. I should not be doing this with the headache that I have. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Uh, there's actually no other chests. This bastion is tiny. There is n there is nothing out. Oh, god. Alright, down here, and then down there. Oh, I'm on the same level as that guy. Uh, this is not good, this is not good. What weapon has he got? Okay, he's got an axe. So he's not gonna, he's not gonna like shoot me with a bow or anything. Alright, let's go across the bridge. And I can't get up, oh gosh. Uh, they don't like me mining gold do they? Like, they're, they're extremely annoyed by it, but... Uh, uh, no, no, no one's gonna notice. No, no one's gonna notice their life's work going missing. See? No one noticed! Yeah, now I'm, now I'm stuck. Like, there's no rooms down there or anything. It's all just solid stuff down there, which is why I'm so confused. Like, Bastions just confuse me. 
they they're so large and yet there's nothing here there, there's nothing here. there we go I've done it I've done it I'm safe I just commit the biggest heist of the century in that bastion okay I'd say that this episode is going quite well so far and now I need quartz I'm back up here and yeah the problem is there's not much quartz that's easily accessible around here this area in the nether where we appeared it looks really cool and it looks like it would be really fun to explore but there's not much valuable stuff around here I've only got 18 quarts. I've literally only got 18 quarts. This, this nether area is so bad. Like, it looks so cool. We've got so many biomes. We've got a bastion. There's nothing good here, though. There is nothing good. There's no nether rack or... There's no quartz. There's no gold. There's just nothing. The one thing that I really need is a bastion. That is the one thing that I need. The one thing that I really need is a fortress. That is the one thing that I need and it doesn't exist. There just isn't one. You can have that gold by the way. There we go, I think we're out of gold now. So... You can come out, and I'm just going to pick up all of this stuff. So, yeah, yeah, you, you gave me two water bottles and a fire resistance potion. The fire resistance potion is very welcome. Like, it might come in quite useful here. Overall, I think that this nether spawn isn't that great. Like, on first si at first sight, it looks quite cool. Like, you've got the basalt areas, and then, like... You've got the red forest, the blue forest, you've got just normal nether, you've got a bastion, but there's nothing, there's nothing really good here. Like, what I need is a brewing stand, but brewing stand doesn't exist here, and I can't get blaze, I can't get nether wart, like, everything valuable in that sense isn't there. I can't get the really valuable stuff. Some of that stuff, though, was quite useful, but overall, we've got 44 quarts, which, if you don't know, is only worth 11 blocks. So that was a failure, and I don't know what to do, because we really need quartz. Like, it is the most essential thing here, basically. We need quartz. The whole Greek design needs quartz, and our nether is just dry. Like, it, it, it kind of is, it, it, it's so hot, like, you wouldn't get anything to make it wet, but, like, it's so dry of resources, that nether, and there's nothing valuable, like, no, no quartz, no, no, like, blazes, no fortresses, just nothing, there isn't anything valuable, and I can't even seem to get the luck of a brewing stand in this area, like, like, I can't get a brewing stand in a village somehow, like, that, that's the one place I would expect to get it if, like, I could, but there's, there's nothing here either, this place is also just dead, and I'm not sure what to do about that. It's like, there, there is literally nothing I can do. I'm not going to go into creative to get it, because that would be cheating, and I don't want to cheat on this world. I can't, like, I can't just magic some out of nowhere, so it's kind of a problem. Oh my god, it's a baby bunny. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do about the nether situation. There is one alternative, however, and that's concrete which I have been thinking about, and it might be my best option. Which is annoying, because concrete doesn't have variants, really. So, y you only get, like, coloured concrete. You don't get stairs, you don't get pillars, you don't get any of that sort of concrete. So, if I use concrete for this build, it's going to look all the same texture, which doesn't look good. So, I think you can kind of see my problem here. The only alternative to quartz is concrete. 
and concrete doesn't have texture. It also kind of looks too modern for my liking. So overall, I think this is our biggest problem. Like, I'm trying to do a Greek theme, the best, the best block for Greek is quartz, and I don't have quartz. This is our biggest problem. So, until Nightmare and Crystal gets back and, um, like, gives me the quartz that they collected, I, I am stuck. I, I can't really do anything about it. Also, none of you have mentioned the horse. And, like, fair enough, I didn't mention the horse. But, guys, it's a horse. Can I please have name suggestions for the horse? We've got to say it like that now. Like, I've actually just, like, I've done that so much now that I, I you just have to say the horse. Name suggestions for the horse, please. Like, we, we kind of need it. I'm running out of time to record, though, and I think this is our biggest problem. So, does anyone have any ideas for this? Also, I don't know how long to record when there's no time lapses, because I can't, I, it's really hard to judge how how much time in this recording has been spent speaking and what's going to be cut out. But yeah, if anyone does have any ideas on how to fix like our problem with the quartz and stuff, then feel free to leave it in the comments because I don't know what to do because we need quartz. This this building here is already over a stack of quartz and like it, it's it's difficult. I'm trying to find ways or think of ways to cut down on it as much as possible. So areas with buildings close to the cliff, I'm just gonna like put them so close to the cliff that I only need to build one or two walls for it. And like if it's further away from the cliff, I'm usually going to try and connect it with multiple other buildings so I can cut out those walls and like keep the materials spare. But this, this was our first house. This was the first house we tried building for it. And it's so expensive. There's no way to shorten this down, really. I left a hopper in the nether. And also, in response to Ben Beaton, who suggested, why don't I just bone mill the moss? Do you see why I don't bone mill the moss? Now the cliff is made of moss. I can't even do it over here, because then it just spreads down there. I mean, look, I'll, I'll do it. I'll try and add a bit to it, but like, I don't want it spreading down the cliff. Ah, oh, you know what? That actually does look better. Fine, I take it back. Yeah, but it does actually kind of work. I was trying to eat a pumpkin pie. Imagine that in a police report. Or, like, you're on trial or something for murder, and it's just like, oh, yeah, I was trying to eat a pumpkin pie, and I accidentally shot a crossbow at their head. I think this episode has kind of been relaxing. Like, I haven't done anything extreme. I've not really built anything at all. I've not done anything absolutely stupid. I did rob a bastion, but like, does that count as stupid? I think I've made quite a bit of progress on things that aren't the base, which is not good because the base is all that really needs progress done. The main problem is just two things. One, the replay mod doesn't exist, so I don't like building stuff when I can't put it into a time lapse. And two, I don't have quartz. I need quartz, and the nether is just devoid of it. It's just, there's no quartz there, or at least not enough to actually supply this build, which is why I got the villagers. Good old Big Nose right here is supposed to sell me quartz, but yeah, your trades are horrible. One block of quartz for one emerald. It's so... It's so expensive. How do you even get quartz? You've never been to the nether. Right, look at this, guys. We're gonna get so many quartz blocks. Nine of them. Look, gonna get so much more. There we go, and he's blocked the trade. Yeah, honestly, I've run out of time, though. I've run out of time to record this, which is annoying. I really did want to actually build something. I'm not sure what I would have done, though. But, um... It's, it's tough right now, because I don't like building stuff without time lapse, and I'm not sure how you feel about it. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to see the time lapses, but personally... Okay, my recording software just cut out, that's not useful. Yeah, personally, I don't like making progress without a time lapse. I feel like it's just better to put it in and make it really short. So, like, 
I just do the really short time lapses, like 10 seconds and stuff. But personally, I feel like it really helps, but I, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what it's like. So, I, I think next episode, no matter what, I'm going to build. Like, that was what I planned on doing this episode, but I ended up not doing it. Next episode, I think I am going to build no matter what happens. It's just actually, like... I don't know, I really hope that the replay mod gets released soon, because it is the it is the biggest problem. Like, I can't even get good thumbnails. I normally use the replay mod to get a good thumbnail. I can't do that now. <laughs> like, this isn't- this hasn't got a replay. Like, if you look in the chat, there's, there's no replay starting, so I can't look at this. I can't use the replay mod for any of this play session, even if I download it in the future. Because it wasn't recording right now, I'm not gonna have it. So it's a it's a huge problem. So yeah, but that's that's all the time that I have for this episode here, and it's annoying. I wanted to get more done, but I'm glad that I finally explored that bastion. Like we, we got a few gold blocks out of it. We got like 16. I traded some of the gold with piglins, but like it, mm, I. I don't know what to do about the ports. That is just the biggest problem. That is the reason why I haven't been building much recently, because I I haven't got enough ports. And the thing is, I could trade bricks as well. Like, like I I need bricks. That's the other problem. The quartz is hardest to get, and the bricks I can trade for. But I can't trade for the bricks if I'm having to spend the emeralds on quartz. This is the whole problem here. The economy is completely screwed up in this world. But yeah, so that that's gonna end this episode here. Next next episode, I'm definitely building. I don't care like what what resources I have, what like mods are installed. I, I don't care. I'm just building. I am literally just going to build. I don't care what happens in the next episode. But yeah, so thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed my fear going through that bastion and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.